Now let me discuss the another group of drugs which will antagonize the RAS pathway that includes angiotensin receptor blockers. Right, that includes angiotensin receptor blockers. Now, you take this ARBs, that is angiotensin receptor blockers. What are the group of drugs in this? Included are losartan, valsartan, irbisartan, and then we have candisartan, telmisartan, and then iprosartan. So, these are the drugs which are included in the angiotensin receptor blockers. Now, how do they act? They act by these ARBs, they act by antagonizing, right, antagonizing the action of, right, antagonizing the action of angiotensin 2 at angiotensin 1 receptors. Right, antagonizing the action of angiotensin 2 at angiotensin 1 receptors. Now, the important advantage of this particular ARBs that is angiotensin receptor blockers is these ARBs they do not increase the bradykinin levels. Right, they do not increase the bradykinin levels which is being done by your AC inhibitors. Now, because they do not increase the bradykinin levels, these ARBs, they have less chance of, right, they have less chance of cough and as well as angioedema, right, they have less chance of cough and as well as angioedema. Now, if you take this entire RAS pathway, right where are these ARBs acting this ARBs they are almost acting at a distal site right they are almost acting at a distal site what do you mean by this particular distal site so we have seen that angiotensinogen is being converted to angiotensin 1 angiotensin 1 is being converted to angiotensin 2 this angiotensin 2 will act on angiotensin 1 receptors and as well as angiotensin 2 receptors. Now, this ARBs, where are they acting? They are acting at this point, right? They are acting on the angiotensin 2, which are present at the angiotensin 1 receptors. Now, what I want to tell you here is, because they are acting at a distal site, these drugs will inhibit the RAS pathway, even the angiotensin 2, which is being generated by non ACE pathway right what did I discuss angiotensin 2 is being formed by two pathways one is kinase pathway or your kinase 2 pathway the other one is the non ACE pathway so if you if these particular A ARBs are inhibiting the angiotensin 2 that means they are inhibiting both the pathways so due to this reason ARB can be combined with AC inhibitors for various indications all right now you take this particular ARBs one of the very important drug is losartan right one of the very important drug is losartan this particular losartan it results in the production of active metabolites in the liver right the important MCQ what you need to remember about the losartan is the active metabolites of losartan they are formed within the liver now this losartan will not only inhibit the angiotensin 2 at the level of angiotensin 1 this losartan it is also competitive antagonist right it is also competitive antagonist of thromboxane a2 all right it is a competitive antagonist of thromboxane A2 because it antagonizes thromboxane A2 
that is the reason why it attenuates right that is the reason why it attenuates the platelet aggregation right that is the reason why it attenuates the platelet aggregation remember this point now all the indications adverse effects contraindications whatever we have discussed with ac inhibitors they also apply to the angiotensin receptor blockers except that the incidence of cough and angioedema is less with angiotensin receptor blockers all right so angiotensin receptor blockers they mainly antagonize the action of angiotensin 2 at the angiotensin 1 receptors they do not increase the bradykinin so that is the reason why they have less chance of cough and as well as angioedema they mainly act at the distal site so the angiotensin 2 which is being formed by both the pathways ace pathway and non ace pathway is being inhibited by your angiotensin receptor blockers and this losartan the active metabolite is formed within the liver this losartan it is having an additional action apart from the and arb it is it will antagonize thromboxane a2 and thereby it will attenuate or it will decrease the platelet aggregation this is about the angiotensin receptor blockers.